what's going on? All right, we well, had a request uh, by a couple of uh, turtle lovers out there. Um, this is my cicada tortoise, uh, one of my babies. Um, he or she, which don't know the sex yet. Um, I'm not too good at sexing turtles, but um, he or she is doing great and it's been an awesome turtle. With this video, I'm going to have a layout of the proper care and proper setup for a cicada tortoise or the African um, spur thighed tortoise. Um, they do very well in captivity and they can be handled. They're very friendly, um, great pets. Um, I don't know any of the incidences where people's gotten hurt by these. So these could, would be a great pet for your kids. The only thing is, if you get them as an adult, um, be prepared to will your pet to somebody in your family, like your kids or whatever, because they will outlive you. They live up between 70 to 100 years, um, maybe some more than that. I mean, turtles live a long time, and they're just awesome pets to have. So if for any tortoise lover out there, I mean, I would recommend one of these. Um, I love cicada tortoises. Now, if you don't have the room for them for when they get bigger, because they will get big, they get very large, um, I suggest you not get one of these um, and go for something small like a red-eared slider or a Russian tortoise, something like that. Um, I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to tortoises. I've been around tortoises just about as long as I've been around snakes, and that's many of years. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I started out with you know our eastern box turtles. I mean, I used to have a sandbox when I was a kid, and I used to always try to build a fence for them. They kept on getting out. <laughs> but I've learned later on they like to dig. But um, these are great pets, and I advise you if you want a tortoise, and if you can and have the room for them and are able to maintain these um, awesome tortoises, these are the ones I recommend. But if you can't, go for something smaller. But here's a care sheet on the cicada tortoise. Hey people, welcome back. The one thing you want to know about these cicada tortoises, um, they are grazers. Um, their diet consists on grass and basically vegetation. Um, I'll give you a list. Um, there's so many, I can't even really name them in my head. Um, you want to avoid um, like lettuce because um, one thing I found out about lettuce is that um, it's just really bad uh, and it's not bad don't get me wrong they'll eat it and they'll be just fine but there is no nutrition value to it um, also uh, when you have these please do me and your little uh, little tortoise a favor um, make sure you take them out um, at least a daily or every other day um, that's just my preference um, you want to take them out let them get fresh air um, you want them to let them graze on natural grass, but you want to make sure there's no fertilizers, no chemicals, um, you know, anything like from a garden or anything. Um, you don't want to near them roadside where it can, uh, the carbon monoxide from exhaust and stuff can get onto them. You want to keep them far away from that. So you want to find decent vegetation and stuff like that. As you can see, he's grazing very well, and he loves doing it. Um, it's just what these beautiful um, beauties do and they survive and thrive very well another thing I want you to watch out for um, which I've heard of people doing this is people trying to feed um, these tortoises like proteins like um, cat food or uh, any kind of meats or anything protein um, should be avoided when it comes to these tortoises I mean I guess very low protein wouldn't hurt them but you don't want to feed them you know too much because it'll start um, deforming their shell and really messing up their this whole system yeah it's just something you want to avoid I mean that's just stuff um, you know I've been learning about cicada tortoise for quite a few years um, like I said this is one of my babies and as you see um, it's doing very well and I chose this one because it's so cute. I chose this one to come out with and play today because ain't it so cute? Um, I can show you bigger ones, 
but this one is just so awesome. Um, and also, you think turtles are slow? Well, right now it's moving slow. But if you don't keep your eye on them when you have them outside, it'll be gone. I'm telling you. So make sure you keep an eye on them also, and make sure there's nothing around for them to get in trouble with or get hurt on. Okay, people. Well, I hope you had a good one. And I hope this helps you.